Hey, welcome back to Coder Gopher. I'm Marty, and this is Julie, my sister. Yes, and today we're going to be learning about Morse code and, well, the basics anyway, so... Let's start off, what is Morse code? Because I feel like they should at least know what it is. Yeah. If they don't know what it is, they're we're, 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 we're kind dude. of screwing, you yeah. know, they're not going to know what's going on. Yeah, so Morse code is basically a very like, variation of dots and dashes. So, like, um, it has um 26 letters just like our regular day-to-day -day alphabet and so like a would be a dot and a dash and then like um right so it's like a it's a system of communicating with other people without using your voice yeah so like if you're like in a dungeon or something and the person beside you like in the dungeon beside you some scary <laughs> has like um like a secret passageway through out of the dungeon then you'd like, and you can't talk, otherwise you die or something. I don't know. What? <laughs> <laughs> what sort of dungeon is this? I don't know, but I read okay, it. Okay, but any, anyways. Yeah. So then you'd just like tap out a message, like through the walls. Like you'd do two quick taps for a dot, and um, three quick, four quick taps for a dash. So then you'd go like tap tap. Tap, 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 tap. So it's more, more about timing than anything, right? Yeah. Like, you can't go tap, 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 Or, like, okay. the person beside you is not going to know what you're saying. So, not like, the way you talk in Morse code, is that limited to just only using a little rock and tapping a wall? Or, like, what is it you can do Morse code with? Like, you can do, like, there's several variations of it. Like, you can do, like, bookworm Morse code or, like... Bookworm Morse code is where you like pretend you're looking through a book and then you um, flip the page quickly for a dot and slowly for a dash. Press along the spine between dots and dashes and look up between letters. So re really it's something that you could do with about anything? Yeah, about anything. Like if you had like two marbles like and you had a big marble and a little marble, the big marble could be like the dash and the little marble could be the dot. And so, on like with like, basically anything, mm. <laughs> like doors or flags or basically anything. So, and like there's like flashlight Morse code is where you like flick on the flashlight for one second and then that's a dot and flick it off again. And then you flick it back on for um, three seconds and then flick it off again. Between letters count to three and between... Um, so and is there any world real world applications that you could use Morse code in? Like, yes, like there are like several like um, if like there's a train going by and here like in the olden days this used to happen but like trains going by and then you'd like have the little Morse code machines which I forget how to make one but don't have the materials too so <laughs> anyways so then you'd like go tap tap beep 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 and stuff to tell the train like t that it's gonna be taking a left turn and like r right and that it's going west and east and so on so then and like if you and like also another way is that if like a ship's gonna like has like a giant hole in it or something hit an iceberg <laughs> which would be sinking yeah so if your ship's sinking then you like quickly run over to morse code machine and like go sos which means like save our souls or save our ship and stuff like anything basically that starts with like three letters that starts with s and hmm. o's so so SOS. why should why should someone learn morse code is it like is it, is it i fun? personally mm -mm. i personally <laughs> take it as fun like, yeah, you enjoy it? Yes, I highly enjoy it. And you I think other people would enjoy that yes, too? Yes, I would. I do think other people would enjoy it. And I do recommend it to other people out there. <laughs> so. All right. Like, so where, where's, some, where's a place that you could learn to go, you could learn Morse code? Where's like, somewhere that you could learn that? Like for me, I went um, onto Google, typed in um, code books, and then it showed up all these other books, and then I typed those titles into the library, and it popped up some, a book of codes, so then I got that, and I realized that it came back with Morse code, so then I'm like, yay, so then I started, decided to start learning it, and yeah, so now I, so, know basically all of it, almost, I haven't finished the alphabet, you have to relearn the ABCs <laughs> again, 
you could learn it at your library, you could get a book on it, or you could use it on the online library, which is YouTube. So I'm sure there's YouTube videos out there about it. Also, if you're on Facebook, there is a page dedicated to that. It's called CW Morse Code Fans. If you want to check it out, you can. You don't have to, but you can. Or you could just like leave a comment saying that you want to learn, and then I can teach you. We need to make more videos about it and stuff. So, in case you're interested, and just so you know, Morse code is not a code. It is truly a cipher because a cipher is where you um change the letter, like the whole alphabet, into um symbols and different um signs and stuff. And for like um, so then that's like Morse code would be a cipher. So instead of Morse code, it's truly supposed to be called Morse cipher. And like, ah. like with um, Pig Latin, that is a code because it's like taking the word and adding on a few other wor letters and stuff. So then it's keeping the word there. But with Morse code, you're just changing the letter completely. So. Right on. I think I feel like we've covered it pretty good. Yeah. I think so. Okay. If you enjoyed the video, code like and make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and subscribing. If you have anything to say, just let us know in the comments. And if feel free to leave a message in Morse code and I'll try to decode it. So. Right on. Alright. See you next video.